This little cube has entered the sim racing market, and it may just be the toughest competitor yet. This is the Moza Racing R9, a 9mm direct drive wheelbase that costs $440. Aimed directly against the highly praised Fanatec CSL DD and further chipping into the mid-range sim racing market, how does this direct drive wheelbase perform and is it any good? Let's find out. On March 10th, Moza Racing released the R9 wheelbase alongside the GS formula style wheel rim you're seeing on screen now. I'll be making a separate review on it soon as today's video is solely focused on the 9mm direct drive base. Before I get started though, I must begin by stating that these products were sent to me by Moza Racing for review purposes, but I am allowed to and will say whatever I want regarding my experience. The R9 is constructed entirely from aluminum alloy and is offered in matte black or grey. Its design is fairly simple, essentially it's a small cube with Moza branding on the sides. Unlike the R16, in this new model, Moza Racing really seemed to take the less is more approach. The R9 also features the heavily praised Moza Racing Quick Release, which simply put, is the best I've ever tested. It's immensely easy and quick to operate as you can switch wheel rims in a matter of seconds. It also does a fantastic job at firmly maintaining the wheel in place and no flex or movement is felt. The wheelbase features no internal fans, which means the R9 is essentially dead silent. After about 2 hours of constant use, it felt warm to the touch but I didn't sense any loss in performance and I also didn't fear the thing would catch on fire, so no complaints in that regard. Behind the R9 is where everything plugs in as well as the on and off button. It's important to note that the R9 is only compatible on PC and has no console support whatsoever. The wheelbase mounts onto a cockpit or wheel stand via the four hard mounting holes at the bottom and has no side mounting support. In terms of the design of the wheelbase, the one thing I don't like is that the on off button is on the back rather than the front. This always made it more of a pain than it should have been to turn the thing on as I would have to reach my hand back, find the button and avoid touching the monitor in the process. Taking a look at the Moza Paytal software, I continue to be a fan. It has a fairly simple layout with an intuitive UI that makes everything easy to adjust. It's not a software that will allow you to fine tune every single thing at the highest possible detail, but it'll be good enough for most. After a few adjustments, I had the R9 feeling how I like it, and talking about that, let's finally talk about its in-game performance. For starters, the R9 has a lot of power. 9Nm might not seem like much compared to its 16 or 22Nm counterparts, but I can guarantee that it's enough for 99% of you watching this video. When playing with the force feedback maxed out, not only was my entire cockpit vibrating like crazy, not only were my arms tired after 2 laps, but I was genuinely concerned that I would get injured if I was not careful. For reference, just take a look at this clip where I let go of the wheel going in a straight line to see what would happen. To me, the R9 felt a lot more refined compared to my R16. A lot more details felt with regards to the track surfaces, curbs, bumps, and all of those things. Going over curbs in both Assetto Corsas felt immensely realistic, and with this wheel's high peak torque, they really had a kick to them. Adding to that, this wheelbase, as with all direct drive units, is also immensely quick, which facilitates drifting, rallying, and of course, catching slides and other imperfections. I will say, this wheelbase did tend to vibrate quite a lot though, almost as if it was trying to simulate certain precise details by simply vibrating, which I didn't necessarily like. For the most part though, it is very impressive. It has loads of power which gives off the aggression and kick that a real race car would, while remaining quick and smooth in game. Throughout titles, the R9 felt a bit different I must admit. I really liked how it felt in Assetto Corsa Competizione as it seemed very refined and smooth and raw, whereas in Assetto Corsa it felt stronger but with a lot of those vibrations that I found annoying, especially at high and very low speeds. So far, this review on the R9 has been fairly positive, so what's the catch? 
Well, transitioning to the motor racing ecosystem, despite the competitive price of this wheelbase, will not be cheap. As of the making of this video, all Moza Racing wheel rims, which are the only ones that are compatible with their wheelbases, cost at the minimum $500. This means, again, as of the making of this video, all steering wheels Moza Racing offers are more expensive than the base itself. So while the R9 wheelbase is competing fiercely against the 8Nm Fanatec CSL DD with regards to both power and price, they are being severely held back by the price of their wheel rims. While you only need to spend $200 for a Fanatec wheel, you'll be paying far more than double that to use your Moser Racing wheelbase. So I truly don't think that the R9 will be a big threat to the mid-range sim racing market until Moser Racing are able to develop and release a wheel rim that retails anywhere from $150 to $300. That being said, how does this wheelbase actually compare to the Fanatec CSL DD and GT DD Pro? Well, that's going to be a subject of another video, so subscribe so you don't miss it. In conclusion, the Moza Racing R9 is a $440 9mm wheelbase that is putting immense pressure on high and mid-range sim racing manufacturers. That being said, it's being tremendously held back by the price of its wheel rims, and until Moza Racing are able to release a competitively priced wheel, the R9 will still be out of reach the massive market of mid-range sim racers who Fanatec currently dominates when it comes to direct drive units. The wheelbase itself is immensely powerful and capable, and the second a budget wheel is released for it, the mid-range competition will turn fierce. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, have a fantastic rest of your day.